I've just received an invitation from the studio making, um, well, from the studio that made The Circle. I've just received an invitation to apply to be on a new game show called Squid Game. I don't intend to do so. Um, and uh, it asks me if I know other people who might be interested. I cannot think of a game predicated on something that is nastier. I know about Squid Game uh, on television, of course, and uh, to turn this into a reality TV show, I think probably was a logical and obvious move. It's going to come with a very, very high prize um, money um, in the millions of dollars, and uh, I suppose it's going to have quite a quite a sizable cast of. Um, Contenders, I still think that we have to do a great deal before we can be sure that what we are watching is safe and the people who are participating in such a show are safe. Not only people who we see, uh, those actors, but also the people behind the scenes, the runners and the people who are employed on very brief contracts um, by studios like this. And we need to make sure that all of these people are safe. At the moment, that isn't the case. At the moment, uh, the, 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 only, the only control is the studio itself. That's something that was set up by our government, by our present government. And it's something that Nadine Doris, the um, Minister for digital culture, media and sport seems un, uh, unwilling to even examine. This is a result of a committee that looked into the deaths of people on Love Island, Jeremy Kyle, and that when it was only halfway through its uh, deliberations, uh, it closed because of the election in 2019, and it was never reassembled. A hastily drafted recommendation was therefore, uh, was therefore turned into a regulation which is presided over by Ofcom, which is effectively that studios police themselves. And more than that, that they keep control of the people who've been on these programmes for about 18 months, providing them with psychological care. Now, it seems to me that if a program requires uh, psychological support, then there must be something slightly wrong with it. Either uh, it hadn't been clear enough in casting, and it's cast people who are in need of psychological support, or the program itself was so horrific that it's uh, produced a situation where everybody requires psychological support, one or the other. And uh, in either case, I think we need to um, we need to improve the situation. So I'm going to have a chat with Akin Griffiths, who is from the last series of Big Brother. Um, and we're going to talk about what you need to do in order to apply for a programme like Big Brother. And uh, I might also see if, if there's a possibility of talking about uh, safety in such programmes. I think there's a lot to be said for reality TV as a concept. I would love to see, in a way, more reality TV and more ordinary people on the telly and engaged in... Uh, direct participation with media. But I want to see it um, as a much safer and a much more professional business. And the people who are entertaining us, that is the people who, are, who we see, um, need to have professional support. And that's not about psychiatry. That's about agents a union representation, all the panoply of professional support which is there to support 
anybody else who entertains us, any actors or presenters who entertain us. It's only with people with outside support, with professional support from people outside the studio that we know that those people who are performing are safe. If everything is being done within the studio, then there's an opportunity for manipulation and there's an opportunity for um, a level of control which is heinous. So there we are. Early morning and, uh, and we're on to reality TV. Uh.